Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the transistor Miller time based generators. In the previous video, I have given you the basic idea how to construct a Miller circuit and bootstrap circuit. There, we have not used any transistor as a switch. There, we have used normal resistors and capacitors. Those two are converted into a linear sweep circuit to generate a steep circuit to generate a sweep waveform so that the sweep error or slope error should be minimum. In this transistor Miller time based generator, I am going to use a transistor. So we are using a BJT bipolar junction transistor to build a Miller circuit to build a Miller circuit. Okay. In the previous cases, this PJT was not used. Okay. Basically, this particular time based generator, whatever we are using for the generation of a, a, a linear slope, this consists of three stages, emitter follower stage, amplifier stage, and again, emitter follower stage. The main purpose of using these many stages is to have better linearity. Okay. So it consists of it consists of three stage amplifier three stage amplifier so to have better linearity to have better linearity it is essential that it is essential that a high input impedance a high input impedance amplifier be used for the high input impedance amplifier amplifier be used for the Miller integrated circuit for the Miller integrated circuit because we are using three stages like emitter follower followed by amplifier and again emitter follower along with these three we are also using two different uh, stages like a switching stage and timing circuit this is the circuit for the transistor miller time based generator if you see this circuit diagram here a first stage consisting of a switch stage and second stage is nothing but timing circuit here resistor is there r and capacitor c is there where the charging and discharging taking place for this capacitor so that the output is going to be having a sweep output and now as i said there are three stages here along with these two switching and timing circuit the main three stages acting for this uh, linearity acting for the purpose of linearity they are emitter follower followed by amplifier followed by emitter follower again okay so these are the three stages emitter follower is nothing but common collector so collector is common this is the collector terminal and this is the collector terminal here also so collector terminals are common in these two stages first and last and emitter is acting as an output terminal so through we, through emitter we are taking the output and second stage is an amplifier stage where we are using a pnp transistor we are using a PNP transistor Q2. Here the entire operation starts from Q1 and then Q2 and then Q3. Okay. So QT, Q2, Q3 transistors are PNP transistors. That's why the, the arrow mark indicating that it is a PNP transistor. Okay. As Q2 is also a common collector or nothing but a emitter follower the output is taken from the emitter and this output is fed back to the input at the capacitor okay 
here capacitor is connected in a feedback loop from output to the base of the transistor q1 input okay in addition to these two we are having a timing circuit where the capacitor charges and discharges so capacitor charging and discharging is done through a resistor which is nothing but r here okay and the position of the capacitor to charge and discharge they are depending upon this diode switching on and off conditions okay so diode on and off conditions are directly proportional to the smith trigger generator if smith trigger gate generator is a positive or negative that depends upon the diode on and off conditions the, the impact of smith uh, smith trigger is directly falling on the transistor q4 and thereby d diode okay so depending upon the status of this particular d the capacitor charging and discharging taking place okay so this is the first stage which is nothing but emitter follower and the second stage is a common emitter amplifier okay the purpose of this common amplifier is for the voltage amplification it gives the necessary voltage amplification and third stage which is an output stage which is an output stage is also an emitter follower for two reasons especially the first one is because of its low output resistance or not it can drive a load such as horizontal amplifier and whatever the maximum amplitude whatever the maximum load we are connecting at the output because of this emitter follower case and having low resistance or not the output can drive that much of uh, highest load as well and the second reason is because of its high input impedance high input impedance here high input impedance it does not load the collector circuit of the second stage okay so the output of this one cannot be loaded on the q3 because q3 is having high input impedance and low output impedance okay and hence the gain of the second stage can be very high that is the reason why we have taken emitter followers at both the ends and amplifier at the center now the capacitor c placed between the transistor base q1 transistor base of the q1 and the emitter of q3 is known as the timing capacitor it is known as timing capacitor because through which we are going to decide the time period of the sweep waveform so the sweep speed is changed from range to range by switching r and c by switching r and c and may be varied continuously by varying the vbb potential so here the potential of biasing voltage required to change the strength of the signal okay under normal conditions we are saying that the output of the smith trigger is a lower level let us consider it is a zero level okay that makes the q4 transistor comes into on state lower level is nothing but q4 transistor comes into on state when this transistor is a pnp transistor it is pnp transistor not npn okay so for lower stage lower level of this particular input smith trigger gate the transistor q4 q4 set to be on so the emitter current q4 flows through r1 this is the emitter current that current flows through the r1 this is the direction of the conventional current okay but as the transistor is in reverse bias condition it is an off state so there exists a flow of current like this so and hence the emitter is at the negative potential therefore diode d conducts as it is having very less voltage because the transistor is in off state then diode is having a path like this okay so the current flows through this r through the diode d and the transistor q4 the capacitor c is bypassed and hence capacitor c is bypassed and hence is prevented from charging capacitor is having a discharging path through the ground to the ground so there is no charging for the charging path for the c it sinks okay if it is charging is there previously the charge is going to be discharged through the on on diode okay so in the next case what happens is metric gate is going to be one 
and this particular transistor is said to be in off state when this q4 is in off state then diode is reverse biased and it is open circuited then capacitor charges capacitor charges so we are giving the voltage like 45 volts whatever the voltage is we are giving 45 here and here it is 10 volts this current this current so capacitor charges like this so as long as the capacitor charges there is a linear increment in the output so initially we can say that initially the smith trigger is at low level what happens that leads to q4 on and diode off q4 on and diode is also on state then what happens capacitor c bypassed or we can say it is not in charging next after that when Smith trigger is at high level, the cases are altered, the that changes the Q4 to off and diode is in off state. So the capacitor finds a charging path through R. Okay. Again at the end of this sweep, the capacitor C discharges rapidly due to diode comes into on state. Okay. And again at the end of this sweep, the capacitance discharges rapidly through diode D and Q4. Okay. So now considering considering the effect of capacitance the slope or sweep speed error is given by sweep speed error Es is equal to Vs by V. This is what we know already from the standard formula of this sweep speed error 1 minus A plus R by Ri plus C by C1. Okay. So, this is the amount of factor which is not there in the original definition, but it is now it is going to be multiplied with the original value Vs by V. What do you mean by Vs? Vs is nothing but sweep voltage. V is the maximum peak voltage from the reference volt, reference line, nothing but zero line. Okay. So, the sweep speed error is having a original value multiplied by this amount of the factor. Okay. So this is what the sweep speed error of the time based generator made up of Miller circuit with transistors. Okay.